everyone, and welcome to the continuation of Hashtag Sonic Saturdays, brought to you by IDW Publishing. Today, we're going to be drawing the rougher than the rest of Knuckles, the Echidna. Before we start, make sure you have a pencil, paper, and a handy little reference guide for you to follow along with. Or, you can follow along with your handy dandy art programs if you so choose. Ready? Let's go! Part 1. The Head. So Knuckles' head is a bit unique. Tails' head is like half a circle, but Knuckles' head is like a circle that's squish. It's basically an oval, or like an alien head. Is he an alien? It's long, but the guidelines we've used in the previous videos are still applied here. The placement of them will be a bit trickier though, so don't worry if you make some mistakes the first go around. Make sure we put a guideline for his eyes, the top of his eyes, the muzzle, and then for extra volume, I'm gonna put some circles to indicate the idea of, of the head volume. There's a reason Knuckles' head is so long and it's to make room for his dreadlocks. Next, it's the three hills for the muzzle. So Knuckles' snout is a lot more obvious and longer than Tails, but his nose is also a similar shape. It's like a triangle. And Knuckles is also super serious, so give him a frown, because he keeps getting his emerald stolen all the time! So like Tails, Knuckles has two eyes. It's not one weird one eye like Sonic has. Actually, I think only hedgehogs have the mono eye. His eyes always are angry, serious, and are kind of shaped like an M, despite being two eyes. Remember, Sonic character's eyes are actual oval. Always. Make sure you make those pupils ovals too. Make sure to add in those eyebrows as well. They're always angry. Ugh. And now, his head and dreadlocks. Knuckles has a super long head because he needs to make room for, like I said, his dreadlocks. <clears throat> I usually like to draw Knuckles with four of those little curved cones. It's the best way that I can describe his hair, really. It's like four curved cones that are all facing down. Think of Knuckles as dreadlocks, like, um, just like that. Like hair. Once that's finished up, really, it's time to do part two. The body! So, if you followed along so far, <clears throat> you'll notice that Knuckles is a bit taller than Tails. His body type is actually similar to a lot of Sonic characters. Generally, their base on their chest and everything, it's shaped like a little bean. <clears throat> with wire sticks sticking out to represent his arms and legs. They're pretty stubby though, so make sure you're placing them correctly. With Knuckles' gloves, I gave him stubby rock-looking placeholders. Also, Knuckles' tail is like a lightning bolt, and it is big. Make sure you draw it out. Going to his legs, make sure to give his feet rectangular blocky cubes, like big ones. Trust me, you'll need them. Knuckles also has green socks, so put the cylinder on top of his foot. Place those cylinders with Knuckles' gloves as well. And Knuckles also has a super cool Mooncrest chest mark, because he's as cool as the moon? I don't know. Going into detail with Knuckles' gloves, think of it like old tiny mittens. Knuckles does not have fingers, thank god, outside of just his thumb. So of course, his knuckles have spikes on it. Make sure you indicate and make those spikes huge and draw those on his little oven mitten hands. Let's get into some details now since we're getting into the spikes. Knuckles' shoes are kind of bricky and thick. When you are drawing Knuckles' shoe, make sure to include his Lego brick, the yellow strap, the red heel and sole, and the sole rim. Oh yeah, and his green socks, of course. Because Knuckles is mostly a stick here, let's give him some meat, shall we? Think of it like you're putting in little volumes. Usually, the best way to describe Sonic characters, arms and legs, is that they're little noodle arms. And with that, it's time to clean up. Part of this process is basically lightly lowering your sketch opacity, or just kind of simply erasing your sketch lightly with a noodle eraser and then carefully cleaning up your sketch. It's completely normal that during this process you like fix mistakes as you go along. I mean, heck, I, I do it all the time. I did it even in this video. It's always important to remember that you will make mistakes when you sketch, so use the opportunity to practice and finish what you started before trying again. It's the best way to learn. And with that, you're pretty much finished. It's a good look at Knuckles there. We want to see how you did, so send us over your Knuckles drawing using the hashtag, hashtag Sonic Saturdays, and we really want to see your work, so tag us. And if you like my stuff, be sure to follow me on my socials if you're interested. 
And sure to follow IDW Publishing for more amazing stories. And visit idwpublishing.com slash sonic for more comic books and more Sonic 30th anniversary fun. Thank you guys and see you next week.